Then congenital cytomegalovirus, in last class I have also told you that CMB is very 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 important. Here in the neonatal guideline you see it's a separate chapter for CMB. So I hope you understand why this is so important. Okay, in utero transmission of CMV can occur during primary maternal infection, reactivation and re reinfection of seropositive mother. Okay, reactivation can occur in case of CMV. This is a very important thing. The maternal test are done, CMV serology for IgG and IgG, IgM and viral loads are done. Here is the interpretation. No need to memorize this. Just look after this. If you have any confusion, you can go through this. In antenatal ultrasound, if a mother is CMV positive, there, there is some features that a child might have. There might be intrauterine growth retardation, intracranial ventricular megaly or calcification. This is very important. Uh, whenever we will go the infection chapter, we will read again this. This intra intracranial calcification is very important. Microcephaly and periventricular leukomalacia. This is a very uh, bad uh, adverse effect in case of a neonatal um, neurology. There will be hyperechoic bowel, ascites or hydrops fetalis, pleural or pericardial effusion, oligo or polyhydramnios, hepatomegaly, abdom abdominal calcification, uh, pseudomuconium ileus, thickened placenta, this can occur. What are the neonatal features of testing? When we will test for a neonate, give a start to this. Evidence of maternal primary CMV infection in pregnancy. Antenatal ultrasound suggestive of congenital CMV. Petechi and purpura, hepatosplenomegaly, prolonged or conjugated hyperbilirubinemia with transaminitis. Unexplained thrombocytopenia, microcephaly, intracranial calcification, etc. Investigation result CMV PCR urine or mouth swab. Soak the mouth swab in saliva for one minute and send it to the viral transport medium to regional laboratory. If negative and high risk CMV, also send the urine. These are named the other feature, other congenital infections like Toxoplasma syphilis, Rubella, Zika. These are being tested in, in ANC, ANC care. If CMV positive, what further test should be done? Give a star mark to this. You have to do the full blood count, liver enzyme, bilirubin, renal function, blood CMV viral load. If unknown whether infection is congenital, request initial blood spot card to be tested for. See, initial blood spot is also kept. If needed, they will do again the test. Ophthalmic assessment, audiological assessment like brainstem evoke response urgently. As we read in the last ENT class that congenital CMV can cause hearing problem. Head ultrasound to see the periventricular leukomalacia or intracranial calcification. If ultrasound head abnormal or scissor, MRI of head is needed. Treatment. If it is postnatal acquired CMV, there is no treatment. Okay. And uh, the feeding, do not discourage infected women from breastfeeding. It is very important. Although we can say that CMV can be transmitted by breast milk, but benefits of taking from the breast milk, it is more than the transmission. So we will not stop breastfeeding. But if the, the baby is premature and the mother is positive, we will avoid breastfeeding because a premature baby will have uh, less immunity they might have a bad impact so if the child is starved you will not discourage but if it is a premature baby and the mother is positive you will be you will avoid if the baby is asymptomatic then also you will avoid because we won't take risk and in case of premature baby in their country there is some special formula they feed with and uh, even if the breast milk is given they will give some breast milk fortifier for the pre premature babies so they have very good options available as formula for premature so we can avoid breastfeeding in case of that follow-up is important uh, but uh, not coming very frequently audiological follow-up is very important like three monthly for first year then six monthly for three year and then annually until the age of six year for both asymptomatic and symptomatic congenitally infected babies this audiological referral or uh, follow-up is very important 